Happy New Year and welcome back to the Mataru Kitchen. I'm Kat and today we are going to make a very popular North Indian breakfast, Alu Pronta. We had taken a break during the end of the year and did some traveling but now we are back to making more recipe videos to share them with you. And today we will be making alu pronta. I learned this recipe from my mother-in-law. It's really simple, very homely and absolutely delicious. So now let's get started. Now let me run through the ingredients that we need for today. We'll need some whole wheat flour which is chakiata. This will be for the dough. We'll need some water to go with it as well. And for the filling, we'll need two potatoes cooked and peeled, some coriander, red onion, green chili, ginger, red chili powder, some salt, a little bit of oil, and that's it really. Okay, now let's start with making the dough. So here I have 350 grams of whole wheat flour. It is best if you can find one that is a, from an Indian brand. To the whole wheat flour, we will have to add in some water. Add in some water and mix gradually. For 350 grams of um, atta, which is whole wheat flour, I'm adding about 280 ml of water. Now you might have to adjust this accordingly. Now you can add the water slowly and incrementally. This gives time for the atta to soak up the water. If you have an electric mixer, you can use that as well. I have used that before, but I still think it's best if you use your hand so then you can feel the softness of the dough and understand the texture better. As you're mixing, add about two tablespoons of neutral oil into the mixture. This will help to keep the dough soft. So just keep kneading. It takes a little muscle and effort, but very quickly, like maybe five minutes, you'll be done. So the dough that we are making right now can be used for all kinds of prontas, as well as making roti. Now this dough is done, you basically want it to be this soft. Now we're gonna let the dough rest for a bit, about 15 minutes is enough. So in the meantime, we are going to prepare our filling. Alright, now it's time to make the filling. So we are making alu pronta today. Alu basically means potatoes. And you can find many different kinds of prontas out there. There are gobi pronta, which is cauliflower. And there is also muli pronta, which is radish. Adrian pronta, the list goes on and on. But today we are making the one that is most popular, which is alu pronta. So to begin, we will need some red onion. Now for two alu, for two potatoes, we'll need about three quarter of this red onion. So if you have a smaller red onion, you need just one red onion. Yeah. We will need to chop the red onion finely. So I just cut my red onion into smaller pieces and put them into a chopper. We are also going to chop the other ingredients all together. Next, chop one green chili. We'll need to grate some ginger. So about half a teaspoon of grated ginger. About this much. Then we'll need to chop up some coriander as well. So about a handful. Mm. 
Now I have the onion, the ginger, the green chili, and my coriander in my chopper. I'll just chop them all up. Okay. Now let's see if it's fine enough. This is good. Now here I have two potatoes which are already boiled and peeled. And we are going to add the chopped up ingredients into the bowl with the potatoes. There are many different ways to make alu pronta as well. You'll find some recipes that has more spices like coriander seeds, jeera seeds, I mean cumin seeds. Uh, but this is the way we make it in our home. Now with a fork, we mash it all up. While we mash the potato, we will also be mixing it together with the onion mixture. Now we'll add in some salt and red chili. You can adjust the level of spiciness. So add the red chili as much as you like. So test as you go. Mix it well. Now that we have our mixture ready, it is time to start rolling out our prontas. First, we want to heat up our tawa, which is the vessel we'll be cooking our prontas in. If you don't have a tawa, you can use a cast iron pan or like a frying pan will be fine as well. This is the dough that is rested. Now we'll take a little amount, like a small pebble. Roll it into a small pebble like this. Coat it with some dry flour. Take your rolling pin and roll it out. Once it sticks to the surface, lightly coat it with another layer of dry flour and just roll it out. Don't have to roll it out too thin, about this thickness is good. Now we put the potato mixture into the middle of the rolled out dough. About one and a half tablespoons. Collect the corners and pinch them. To conceal your potato mixture. Pinch the top and roll it. Give it a twist. Remove the excess, seal it up, face down. Then we roll this out. When you're rolling your prontas with the rolling pin, you don't have to use too much force. Just gently roll it. Once it's even and it's not too thick, like this, put it onto the hot tawa. It's very important to make sure that your pan is hot because if the pan is not hot enough, it takes longer time to cook your pronta. That is one reason that will make your pronta dry and hard. You don't want it to spend too much time on the pan. Flip it around in like 30 seconds. On the side that was cooked, apply some ghee or clarified butter evenly on the surface. 
Now we flip side. Do the same for this side. Flip it again. Now you see that the dough is actually not thick. This is what you want. You want the dough to be thin. Now the sides are looking crispy and toasty and nice. Alright, and the first piece is done. Shall we do a taste test? Alright, the best way to have alu ponta is to have it straight off the tower when it's really, really hot. Now serve it with a little bit of butter, tear a piece off, add some yogurt on it. Mm. So good. Mm. The potato to the dough ratio is perfect. The dough is not too thick. The potato flavor is just right, it's not too spicy, it's just perfect. It's savory, it's simple, it's crispy, and then you can have a sip of cha to complete your breakfast. Alright, we have come to the end of this recipe. I hope you enjoyed our alu pronta. This is from Mataru Kitchen to you. And I hope you will give this a try. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification. And if you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one.
Bye.